I have never seen anything like that. And I, I mean, I've obviously been covering NASCAR 12 plus years and seen a lot of wrecks and a lot of incidents on the super speedways, but that, that was just, it truly took my breath away. I, I was very uh, concerned there for a moment on just how this was all going to play out. I'm so grateful that he was able to walk away. I know, obviously, of course, he was taken overnight to the hospital for evaluation, but it seems like hopefully everything is okay with Ryan Priest, but that was just a remarkable um, accident. I think it does speak to the, in a testament to the safety of the race vehicles and all the things, but I, I'm curious if you guys had the same sort of feelings as you were watching it unfold. I know most of you are probably there watching it in person, but it, it was pretty, uh, breathtaking and not in a good way. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Breathtaking. I mean, I think a lot of people probably in the sport too, their first thought was of his wife at home with their newborn baby and, um, you know, how she was probably feeling at the time. But um, you're right, Caitlin. I mean, the 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 safety innovations and everything that we've seen, even with the Ryan Blaney accident and seeing how the yes. safer uh, barrier was able to de deflect a lot of that energy um, was really uh, on display Saturday night in Daytona for sure. Um I think, Doug, did, are we going to go ahead and take a break? I want to get Brad's Caitlin? reaction to this because we hadn't talked about <laughs> the Ryan Priest incident up until now. So, I think the stunt team who did that spectacular crash in Talladega Nights, if they were watching on Saturday night, they thought, oh, man, we probably could have done more. Uh, what happened in reality uh, was even more so than what happened in the movies, and that was very spectacular and great to see him tweeting that night and released from the hospital the next day. Uh, that's the biggest thing, and the people at Delara who helped design the chassis for this car and all of that, I'm sure they're not celebrating saying, yeah, we got it. I'm sure they want to look at every single inch of that race car and say, okay, what can we do to make it even better next time? And I've got to give my wife, Penny, a lot of credit. We're sitting in the living room watching this, and I'm trying to count the number of spins. And she simply says, just count the number of times you see the bottom of the race car. Mm -hmm. like, okay, very insightful. <laughs> we saw it way too many times. I'm glad Ryan Priest was able to walk away safely from that.